All right, so I've been working on the forehead. I think I'm pretty much there. Squinting at it looks pretty good. There's some areas I can still do some refined texturing. If your tools ever aren't doing what you expect them to, look at your settings, make sure it's the tool you want and not some specialized variation of it. And the brush has quite a few. There's the mixer brush, there's the history brush, there's the color replacement brush. You just, whatever you use, you just want to be able to use it predictably. Know what to expect from it. And I've only really used two brushes for this whole process. And that's just how I like to work. Gives a consistency to everything. All right, so. Being a little bit more aggressive with my edges now especially transitioning textures, like between his hair and his ear, the background here. When I feel like I get too light, I go back in with a, a darker tone. I'm still working at just about 80% opacity because I can always double up to make things more opaque. Right, but I, I want that kind of mixing, ideally. All right, let's deal with his mustache now. Maybe a few more shadows in here. It'll work pretty fast. Try to get to a, a decent overall finish just in this, in this demo. And I'll move on to a different subject matter. Because in digital painting, what you're painting really affects how you set it up. like this green, let's get a little bit of that in there. Counter it with a warm. So I'm attacking it, but I'm trying to not be frantic. I'm trying to be kind of rhythmic, measured, it should all make sense. And this, this kind of um, approach I'll take to the mustache now. Now to stop it from tilting, though tilting can sometimes show you areas that still need a little bit more refinement. Just seeing your work from a different perspective from a distance with the navigator, tilted with the hand tool, the hand rotate tool. Can help you see areas that you can bring up to a better finish. Just give a little bit more attention to.
And this is why most of the digital paintings you see online are, are sped up. Because you can just spend a long time building these interesting textures. I'm no different. But when you're doing concept art or you're doing just a little uh, practice sketch, getting introduced to a subject, that's kind of how I view my initial digital painting. Keep that energy up. Not be too stressed by any single component of it. Then it's good to realize it has to be finished on a deadline. Okay, so now to make it not at an angle anymore, I simply double tap on the hand tilt tool and it brings me back to default orientation. Go back to my brush. Keep on keeping on. As the artist, you need to make the strong decisions when the, the subject matter is kind of vague. Like the border of his mustache. I have to kind of decide where that's going to be. Though it's not lit very clearly in the photo reference. So I get to put that in. And even though painting is, is mostly shape-based, sometimes it just helps to, to kind of draw a border. So your, your painting can have little bits of outline in it. You can make your own form of abstraction for sure. It's all about communicating. So I'm definitely going to do that on the corners of his suit. Kind of play up the brightness of his beard around his tie. Using dark values to show the shadow under his chin. Sometimes I get impatient and will push up the, the opacity, but I can try moving this above my sketch layer as well, and that will help. This is my refined painting layer. Now above the overlay sketch, so I don't have those lines limiting me. Though they're still helping out overall. And I'm really looking at the navigator a lot and kind of seeing, okay, what color choices and what shape choices, what, what are they really doing to my subject? And at the same time, I don't want to finish off any one area more than any other. So try not to push it too far. And I have these kind of crazy colors for his tie. I, I like that. So I might keep with that. Looks like a fairly flamboyant, textured, embroidered tie. No reason not to have fun with it. As long as it doesn't pull too much attention away. And it's all about the edges. <clears throat> I 
And remember, this is on a different layer, so if I need to, I can just erase from it without losing anything I know is working underneath. I'm just adding some feathered softness to the edge of his beard where it overlaps with his collar. And I have the highlights already for the suit. So I can use those to kind of paint it in. Bring a little bit more color in. Go ahead and save it. Start zooming out. Yep, almost there. Okay, this is pulling too much attention. I want to knock that down. But that doesn't mean I need to be afraid of color. So. Work a little bit faster. I'm going to go to just hit Command Zero to fit the whole thing on the screen. I'm still using the smaller brush and kind of trying to refine it. Work quickly. I can make my reference here a little bit smaller so I can see exactly how those transitions worked. So now I just need to work on this lapel so it feels as considered as everything else. And this is actually what I, I find kind of toughest for me. How do I finish off things that I don't really want people looking at anyway? <laughs> it's kind of easier to do the eyes and the things that you know, you know people will be drawn to. But how do I paint the lapel of the suit in such a way that people will know what it is but not dwell on it and instead get to the more interesting parts of the painting. Well, the key is just not, don't be too precious with it. If it was a physical painting, I might use sandpaper or scratch at it to kind of soften edges. I put a lot of trust in my sketch. But remember, I modified my sketch at the beginning and I made sure it fit the anatomy. So you should have trust in your sketch. You can't really fix structural problems um, while painting, right? Okay, Photoshop has slowed down for me. What's going on? Hit Command S, save it. I just did a lot of paint strokes all at once. Okay. So now I'm squinting, I'm looking at it. Little areas really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and enlarge my brush a little bit. Hit some of these notes, knock some things down by layering um, complementary colors. And it'll be a good time to save because Photoshop's about to give up on me. You can see how my brush is lagging. All right, so to finish it off or to submit it, this is my kind of finished painting. This would actually be a good submission for the for the class project, right on the verge of being fine art. Right, I don't even need to erase my palette. Ah, getting legs. So what I'm going to do is save it as my Photoshop file and then save it as a JPEG and then upload it to PhotoBucket with just one photo reference. So I'll upload this and then it, it will show my work.